So today we're going to be looking at the Lidl uh, 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. Uh, this is available for about uh, 12 euros at Lidl and it's a very useful little uh, 10 amp hour uh, USB uh, 3.0 quick charge 3 and uh, power delivery, 18 watts total. It has this useful um, display showing you the uh, power level and uh, the only input method is this uh, capacitive touch uh, area. Um, so if you can make out the uh, specs here, I'll just try and get them uh, zoomed in here for you. Um, anyways, the issues I've had uh, with this power bank or its blue brother was that uh, it crashed at some point while I was charging it and the display was just flashing and no uh, touches of the button or plugging in plugging out would get it back to working function and since it uh, wasn't allowing any power output the only power draw was the uh, screen LED and that would probably take months to discharge so uh, I was thinking that most probably it was the processor that got hung up and I needed to restart the thing but as you can see it's a fairly well sealed unit and difficult to get into so after a bit of prying as you can see here, this is the case. Um, it doesn't actually seem to be glued together that much. It just has these uh, clips all around it, three on each side, I believe, and then two at the back and two at the front. Uh, I managed uh, to break most of them, as you can see, and just a little uh, daub of silicone inside to keep it together. And that exposes the unit itself, as you can see here. So it actually uh, holds up its uh, capacity. So it's actually two 5,000 milliamp uh, batteries, lithium pouch packs, one and two stacked on top of each other. Uh, they're held together with double-sided tape, but luckily on the outside, it's just this little bit of white silicone that uh, I was able to pry up. So fairly decent battery, certainly has some weight to it. And then here we have the uh, chips controlling it. So as you can see here, we have two uh, South Chip branded uh, packages with the uh, large number of pins. One is handling the buck converter uh, through this 2.2 micro Henry inductor, and the other large chip is handling the power delivery system. Uh, on top of that, uh, we have this chip here that is handling the lithium protection. Uh, so that's basically just a big MOSFET built into that, uh, doing uh, overcharge, over-discharge protection. Uh, then we have this little chip here that is actually coupled with this uh, capacitive area here. So it's just the uh, capacitive touch IC. And then we have a whole bunch of these uh, small double MOSFETs, 8205s. So we have three, four on this side and another one uh, up here. These are 20 volt, six amp double and channel MOSFETs. So they're obviously doing the uh, overcurrent uh, control and disabling the outputs if something's uh, not quite right. Um, here we have the uh, current sense resistors, the uh, 0.01 uh, ohm resistors here. And then we have this uh, fairly curious uh, charge uh, seven segment display. So it's a two and a half digit seven segment display. But the curious thing is, is that it has its five connector uh, points here, which are the same ones that pass through here. And the whole display just has those five pins because usually a seven segment display, you'd have to have the uh, seven pins for the segments and then either a cathode or an anode for uh, each display. So you'd expect to have at least 10 pins, which you don't have here. And I've probed around this area. These uh, ground SCL pads do connect to those pins. I've probed around with the oscilloscope, but I get really weird uh, uh, waveforms on there. So they're doing some kind of uh, multiplexing voodoo to uh, run this uh, charge status display uh, just through the five pins. So over to my issue I was having, this display was just flashing on and off and there was no way to reset it. So uh, I unpacked 
uh, the system from its uh, plastic shell and I picked away the silicone on one of these uh, contact pads so minus and plus coming out of the battery here and uh, I was first thinking of just unsoldering uh, these two uh, connection ribbons to the battery to uh, take away power from the board and have it uh, reset the microprocessor. But unfortunately, these pads here seem to be uh, welded on. So uh, they've, they've point welded these uh, on and unsoldering, ripping them off would be uh, fairly difficult, probably damage the battery or pull up some tracks. And unfortunately, oftentimes these uh, ribbons coming out of the battery are steel, so they won't uh, take any solder. So my solution to uh, resetting the microcontroller, so you basically have to take off the 3.7 volts that are going into uh, the board, was actually to short it with a small wire. Of course, all the uh, warnings apply. Lithium batteries do not short. They'll go up in flames and burn down your house. Do not try this at home. Uh, but in this case, I'm using a very thin gauge uh, wire, so anything maybe 22 to 24 gauge uh, would probably be fine. And the thing I did, I just shorted it super quickly, just maybe like half a second, just touch the connector on this uh, negative pad here and the positive ribbon here. And the short uh, length of wire here acts as a very low value resistor, obviously. And it pulled down the voltage to the control board uh, just enough for that short amount of time that the uh, CPU and the MCU resets itself. And after doing that, uh, there was no sparks. Most of these uh, power bank batteries are fairly low current anyway, so they're designed to be more high capacity than high current compared to, let's say, some drone batteries. So just shorting those two uh, 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 plus and minus incoming ribbons just for a short second uh, allowed the MCU to restart. And as you can see now, it's uh, working perfectly. The outputs, uh, the full 18 watt current uh, are able to uh, be deployed once again. So yeah, if you're having a problem with uh, your power bank and uh, it's stuck in some mode or it's not outputting and you can see that it's still alive, it isn't a battery issue or it hasn't fried itself, uh, you might have to uh, reset your MCU. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is either unsolder the battery uh, to take the voltage off the board and have it restart that way, or short uh, the battery for just a short while with a fairly high resistance thin gauge wire. That'll take the voltage, pull it down across the MCU for that uh, short moment, and that will resell, uh, reset your uh, power bank. So, good luck, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.